silver salmon that have spawned in the streams and we collect them, um, fight over them with the bears. <laughs> Feeding time at the zoo. I think people are surprised when they find out what we do. Yeah, how it's kind of like, like, oh, what do you do? It's like, oh, we, you know, we race sled dogs. Oh, that's cool. But what do you really do? It's like, no, we, that's what we do. We have 63 dogs. Trip, Boule, Dot, Wallace, Forrest, Harley, Beacon. All our dogs have their own personalities and they all have their own nicknames. Maggie, Shoes, Quinta, Stingo, Beatrice, Scorpion, Hitmake, Floyd. I'd like to think that we are in tune with the dogs as we are with each other. Yeah. The dogs have a whole album of songs and I think it kind of makes us feel like a family when we all sing together. Chrissy and Anna are twins and best friends and sisters and family all in one. And that is something I think is very special. Anna and Chrissy don't just look alike, they definitely share a unique passion about what they do and the way they do it. We race sled dogs together and live together, work together, have fun together. We do everything together. Dog mushers are incredibly committed. They've left something behind to do this. They've left some sort of semblance of a normal life, uh, caring for 40 to 50 to 60 dogs in minus 20 conditions year round with different challenges. In the summer, it doesn't get dark. In the winter, it's always dark. A dog musher's life is its own unique thing. These aren't just working animals. They're our, we call them our fur children sometimes because they're, they're so important to us. Just to raise them and to hold them when they're hours old, still wet behind the ears, to watching them finish their first race. It's like graduation day and at the end of some of the races when you see these puppies that you've raised and raised their parents, it's, it's really touching and emotional. And every year I get that moment of, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> This weekend is the first race of the season. It's a short, by short we mean 65 miles. That's one way. We start when it's dark and we end when it's dark. I think mushing in, at night and 
at the hours when most people are sleeping is a almost magical feeling. It's like we're other people are sleeping in bed dreaming and we're living the dream. Alaska will make you fall in love with it. The moon is bigger. The sunsets are longer. The light is spectacular. Alaska is adventure. I see it all the time that folks come up here, they leave what they have behind, and they start a new life. Something in their spirit or their soul or some, some bucket list or something kicks in where they say, you know what, I want to go and immerse in this. I want to cross that line of almost no return. It's a big leap into a new life. If you're willing to take to risk the risk to find what you want in life, then you go for it. But some people, their whole life is like, well, I want to be comfortable. I want things to feel nice and be good. And sometimes being uncomfortable, it's OK. The rewards are extraordinary. You discover more about yourself. You discover more of what else you may want. It's a humbling, and um, it's rewarding, and it's breathtaking. It's, it's everything.